Sometimes as an American, I see stories about people in Europe or Asia that have things that I really want. One of the things has been the high-speed rail or just the accessibility of train transport in Europe. And now we're getting a negative story finally out of Europe and I wanted to talk about it because I think it's kind of hilarious and sad at the same time because I always think that, you know, over there things are going so well when it comes to trains, eh, not so fast. I've seen so many different Twitter articles or just posts about, you know, the high-speed rail system that potentially could happen in the U.S. and how it would connect Seattle down to L.A. and you could get across country and it was fantastic. And then we have the Hyperloop from Mr. Elon Musk that has been 100% perfect and has no flaws whatsoever. And as Americans, we're not really thinking about the high-speed rail transport systems. We have the individual metros in every major city pretty much, but we don't have this connective system that some of the European countries have. So today we're talking about Spain, which has all of the wrong stories coming out at this point. So the story goes that in 2020, Spain puts in a contract to buy 31 commuter trains uh, for $275 million. This was the idea to have these trains go to the mountainous regions of northern Spain. Sounds fantastic. The target was going to be for 2024. And then something bad happened. In March of 2021, the company that was in charge of building the trains realized that the dimensions that were given did not match and the trains were going to be too large to fit through the tunnels. We are two full years after this and this is just now coming out. And so I always think about this, I don't even know what it's from, kind of a cartoon of just the trains being too big for the tunnel. And unfortunately, that's kind of the situation that they're in right now. These trains, uh, the rails itself and the tunnels were built in the late 1800s and as a result, don't have the, the standard uh, size that most of the major cities have. So as a result, they're going off of the standard and unfortunately they do not fit in the tunnel. So they're going to have to scrap that and figure things out. So instead of being ready in 2024, they're going to be pushed back until 2026. And as expected, the government of the mountainous region in Spain was not very happy and there were some jobs that were lost, as you'd expect. So let's talk about some of the things that happened. So earlier this month, Spain's transport ministry fired two officials from the incident. The head of the state uh, rail operator company resigned on Monday and Spain's secretary of state for transport also stepped down on Monday. These are the main players responsible, but these trains are going to be delayed two years. And I'm very curious what happened from March of 2021 until now that this information is just now becoming public because I think if I heard this news a little earlier on, it'd be okay. Pretty much every major project gets delayed. Uh, there is a, even a Portland story, which for some reason, I think the number 31 might be cursed when it comes to public transportation, but TriMet, which is the metro system up in Portland, uh, was buying 31 uh, new buses, kind of the bendy buses, where when they go around turns, they kind of pivot. Uh, and as they were testing them out, they realized that the fasteners that connected the two sections of the bus uh, were missing in some of the buses, and they've been delayed since then. Uh, and that was a $175 million project that's been delayed, and the rumors are that it's not even faster than the bus routes uh, that were replaced. So it seems like uh, transportation, we see all of the uh, train problems in the US. Uh, it's not just us, it's pretty much everywhere, which is, you know, makes me feel a little better, but not much. So this was kind of a silly story, just dimensions were not followed and the lack of a standard for the tunnel sizes in Northern Spain makes it so that these train projects are gonna be delayed by two years and some people lost their jobs and people are pissed. So let me know if you heard about this story and let me know if there are any silly stories you'd like me to discuss on this channel. My name is Andy. Hopefully you learned something and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.